So this week I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, a few of my videos, especially the ones where I'm focusing on my finger picking, have been generating quite a few questions and comments and things like that. So I thought this week I'd have a go at answering a few of them and sort of focusing on that technique a little bit more. So let's get started. All right, I, I've had a go at this. I'm not great with the camera, but hopefully you can, you can see what I'm doing. I thought I'd break this into three parts. So this first one, all I'm doing is I'm just focusing on this basic, basically using my index finger as a, as a pick. So all I'm doing is I'm holding my hand as though I'm holding a pick between my thumb and my first finger. My first finger's just jutted out a little bit, and that's the thing that I'm using to hit the string with. So let's see if I can demonstrate that for you. Okay, this next one kind of uh, is an extension of that. So I'm still using that technique of using my index finger as a pick, but I'm bringing in my other fingers as well. So this is this is much more sort of a hybrid picking type technique. So let's have a go at that. The final one is uh, is based on the tremolo. Um, I've put a few videos about the, out about this, um, but again, I'm going to try and really zoom in, and hopefully, you can see how I approach this this tremolo technique. So let's have a look at that. So I'm pretty old school when it comes to gear, as you've probably gathered. Um, I've got two main electric guitars. I've got my Les Paul Custom and I've got my Fender Strat. The Strat is my favorite guitar at the moment. I tend to flip between the two, uh, depending on my mood. But right now the Fender Strat's my main workhorse guitar. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary American Deluxe uh, Fender Strat. Uh, and it's the guitar I use when I'm gigging as well. Uh, I play this into a Vox AC30, so that's the amp, that's my preference of an amp, I like the, the brightness and the sparkle you get out of a Vox AC30. In terms of effects, uh, I'm using a Boss GT10 guitar effects processor, so this, so this is one of those multi-effects processors. I used to use separate pedals, separate individual pedals, um, the reason why I stopped was mainly because of uh, that tended to be the weak link when I was gigging. Invariably, if something was going to break down on me, it would be one or, or the other of those pedals. Either I'd have forgotten to change a battery or something, or the cable that links the pedals would start to break and, and short out or whatever. Uh, and so I just needed to simplify my setup, so I just went for a multi-effects processor. Um, I'm in the middle of buying a, a Gibson L5 at the moment, so I'm really looking forward to having a go with that. Uh, that should be fun. That should take my playing in a different direction, and you can bet I'll be putting some videos up with me playing that. Well, the, the tone, my tone is a combination of my gear, which we've just been through. Uh, the strings that I use are, are different on different guitars. I tend to find on, on the Strat, I like a lighter gauge string, so these are 9s to 46s. On my Les Paul, I tend to go with 10s. I like a little bit of a heavier gauge on the Les Paul. My touch is relatively light compared to when I use a pick. Uh, I've grown my nails, which I, I'll show you later on as well, so, so the nail is very much a part of my sound as well. When I hit the string, I hit the string with the fleshy part of my finger and then let the string roll off and hit the nail. And I do that with downstrokes as well. So a downstroke would be hitting the, the solid part of the back of my finger and then rolling off onto the nail. So if you like the solid part of the finger 
gives the string its energy, and then the nail generates a click. And that's kind of how I get my tone. So the nails themselves, I, I come from a classical background. So like every classical guitarist, I grow my thumb, first, second and third fingers, the nails on those fingers and the rest I keep short. If they're long enough so that if I look at my hand, look at my hand palm up, I can just see the nails peeping out over the top of, of my fingers. I'll, I'll put a picture of my hand just so you can see. Uh, I tend to, to shape them with a nail file and keep them about the same length using a nail file as well. Uh, I don't do anything else with them. I don't put anything else on them to try and strengthen them. Uh, they tend to be strong enough on their own. I, I do know though that when, I, when I'm gigging a lot, they do take a battering. So you could bet if I was doing a lot of back-to-back uh, -to -back shows, I'd start to investigate some of the, the tricks and techniques that other guitarists use, but I've not needed to, so I, so I don't bother with those. So that's it. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Uh, I'm really grateful for all the comments and the questions that I get. Uh, so please feel free to reach out to me either privately or through one of the forums that I use. I'm, I'm often on Google Plus or on Twitter or checking out my comments on YouTube. So those are the best places to reach out to me. Um, as I say, just ask me whatever you want or just, just get in touch. It'd be good to hear from you. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.